Hello! If you're following my channel, you've probably noticed that my channel has changed names again. Uh, why is that? Well, I finally figured out what my pen name is going to be. Coffee Herokio. Uh, on the subject of pen names... <laughs> like, I never wanted to use my real name. Uh, and, you know, in my bio... In, on, on Facebook or whatever, I introduced myself as the author of Legend of the Erased and Coffee Enthusiast. And even when I was younger, when people asked me what I wanted to be known for, I wanted to be known for my story. The world in my story is called Herokayo, and the pre previous rite of Legend of the Erased was actually called Legend of Herokayo. And many of you that have followed my career for more than a year uh, remember the Legend of Herakio book. Like, it was in print form and everything. I was selling it at conventions, uh, and I pulled it back. And a lot of people are actually really confused as to why I did that. They're all saying, you know, why did you pull it back? The story was fine. Uh, it's a bad idea to pull your story back. Yes, it is to go back and rewrite your story. If you, if your story is still following what you originally intended, uh, then yes, stick with it. However, I'm actually here to talk about today why I pulled it back. What? Okay. These are the questions that I'm actually getting. Why did I pull it back? What was wrong with Legend of Hurricane? What are the main changes? And what is Legend of the Erased? Uh, I can't go too in depth of the main changes because, you know, spoilers and whatnot. Uh, so, to start with, what was Legend of Hurricane? It was a fantasy manga that involved a magical world called called, bleh, called Harukio that somehow tied into the witch trials. I don't know. There was like this dream world, this dream hero. Serene still had nightmares and all that stuff, but it was all tied into her past of being a witch. Which is really stupid. And I really have no idea why I went down that path of wanting to write about witches. Serene is by no means a witch. Uh, and honestly, only in the print version was she ever was witches that were witches ever a thing. Yes, mages were always uh, present in my world, but they weren't like the god creature of the world. Uh, and yes, I did end up printing it, and the main things that people liked about Legend of Hercule, this was actually one of the reasons why I decided to pull it back, all of the things that the people really liked weren't the main plot line. In fact, I don't even know what the main plot line was anymore. I know it had something to do with the dream hero, which didn't even make sense in a story about witches and a magical world. Again, doesn't make sense in a story about witches. Like, I don't even know what I was doing. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, like, people were really interested in Abaddon, who was known as Satoshi at the time. Uh, that's also a thing. Most of the characters had Japanese names. Serene was supposed to be from the town of Salem, Massachusetts. And everyone in the world had Japanese names. There was a Satoshi. There was Misaki. Uh, you know, names like that. Very generic Japanese names. Everyone has an original character named Misaki. Everyone has an original character named Satoshi. Uh, and even saying, saying those names, now that I've changed them, 
It feels really weird, because their new names suit them so much better. But I still get a lot of the old viewers still calling them Misaki, Satoshi, etc. Uh, but I'm going on a tangent. But yeah, people were really interested in why Satoshi was hated for his black hair. Which, that wasn't even a main plot line. It tied into something with having to do with bad luck. Like, it was made as such a big deal in the first two volumes, but it went nowhere. They wanted to know about Seren's nightmares. Again, that went nowhere. And I made it to book three. I was selling book one and two at conventions, and people seemed to be liking it. But here's the problem. I didn't like where it was going. I didn't like what it was about. And that's a huge problem. I sacrificed everything for this story. Like, I had a pretty rough childhood. And most of the blame on my childhood actually went down to nightmares. I had nightmares every single night. Uh, and I was a kid. I didn't understand what all this was. I thought I could ask my parents about it. But no, that was the biggest mistake of my life. Like, they thought something was legit wrong with me. I thought something was wrong with me. Everyone in my family was terrified of me. They thought I was like the demon-possessed little shit. But all I knew is I had these horrible nightmares. Everything was getting taken away. Which, they were just doing what they thought, they, what they thought was best. You know, I'm having nightmares, so obviously take away everything that could be a prompt for nightmares. Which all I did was create more nightmares. So, that failed. So, I was in this endless cycle of nightmares and sadness and depression. I was eight, and I was already wanting to die. Because if this was what life was, I didn't want it. And somehow, I came across anime and stuff. Well, let's back up a little bit. In the nightmares... Like, they had gotten so bad to where I was terrified of sleeping. I didn't want to go to sleep. Eight years old, and went about two or three nights without a single hour of sleep. Because I was terrified. Like, the nightmares, they weren't just in the dreams. When I would wake up, I would still see whatever the monster was in real life situations. Uh, and even now, I sleep with a nightlight. Yeah, that's a little bit shameful, but I sleep with a night nightlight now because the nightmares don't just stay put. I pull them into the real, real world with me. Uh, I don't know, some deep psychological shit right there. So, my entire life was built on nightmares. But, and I couldn't find any peace whatsoever. And then after the five, three or four days that I went without sleeping, I finally went to sleep. And once again, I started having a nightmare. But in that nightmare, this hero type figure appeared. I can barely remember what he looked like now because this was 14 years ago. But I remember he had black hair. And he, and he uh, would make all the nightmares go away. And pretty much, long story short, I, looked, I started looking forward to my nightmares. Because in all the nightmares I had, this hero type dream character would, would appear. And as I got older, those dreams changed. But I wanted so bad to find a way to thank this yes I know it's all in my head but I wanted to find a way to thank the hero for helping me for helping me get through that childhood but here I was turning his story into something about witchcraft and all that stuff that's stupid my entire life was built on the idea of dreams, 
and nightmares, and I was writing a story about witches? No. So I pulled Legend of Hercule back and decided to take it back to its roots. What were its roots? Dream worlds. Dream scenarios. So the main things in Legend of Hercule was there was a girl from the real world that gets pulled into this quote dream world by a quote dream hero and then things unfold in the quote dream world and even when I was writing Legend of Hercule like Hirokoyo was known as the dream world but it wasn't a dream world it was actually supposed to be real and created by witches. Once again, retarded. Uh, there was also a lot of really bad problems with the art. Like, especially in chapter 1 and 2, there's the scene in Legend of Hercule with three thugs. What was the point of this scene? Uh, to show that Satoshi was strong, I guess? To show that Serene can't fight for shit? I don't know, but the thugs were very generic. Three guys just randomly show up and wanting to rape her. And they're... They were, they were lame. They all had sunglasses and they all were like very niche. So a lot of my beta readers are like, okay, if you pull this back, you have to fix these three guys. And I did. I decided that the head guy who was a bald, uh, douchebag looking guy, covered in like arm tattoos and all that stuff. Everyone wore sunglasses, so no one had eyes. He was going to be a. I made them a lot younger, and the main guy was going to be this jock looking guy. You know, white t shirt, blue gym shorts, uh, and athletic shoes. You know, typical teenage athlete. The tall, lanky guy with the hat was going to be a hipster guy, piercings everywhere, you know. He was supposed to have a scarf, but I gave him the same hoodie that he wore. And I changed the, uh, the bigger guy into, like, this religious kind of guy. Well, religious looking guy. And they all looked like they were in high school. Uh. And... Long story short, I started finding a personality in these characters and decided to make them a little bit more important to my story. Uh, so that's just a little bit of it. The art's definitely different. Serene has definitely more personality. She was just kind of generic. Like, in book two of Legend of Hercule, it is made painfully clear that Serene is being severely abused at home. But she's just okay with it. Like, she has no psychological problems at all. You don't get severely bullied at school, get severely abused at home, and still just be obsessed with your dream hero. That's not how it works. So, she's a little bit more timid now. Uh, she definitely has different features. Like, instead of her just having generic strawberry blonde hair, her hair is actually quite wavy now, and she has a bit of a pointy nose, so even her facial characteristics have changed to be less generic. Uh, so she's got definitely more character now. Some people may like it, some people may not. She's definitely perceived as someone that's kind of weak. She still can't fight, and, well, I'm not going to spoil that for you. Alright, what are the main changes? Well, witches are a lot less prominent. There is still a nightmare scenario, but, like, the nightmare scenario is pretty much the entire story. Uh, dreams. The, instead of, you know, witches controlling everything, everything is controlled by dreams. Like, there was a movie I watched a couple of years ago called Imaginarium. Uh, which is about an old man who goes into a coma. I really, really liked this movie, and it honestly made me kind of depressed that I didn't 
stick with that kind of uh, setting. So I pulled it back and actually put it in that kind of setting. Everything takes place in a dream. Uh, the characters are definitely more well defined. They all have individual personalities, individual abilities, uh, and they're a lot less generic than they were. And even the side characters, they all have a, their own backstory and their own lives. Uh, and one thing, I always promoted Legend of Herkyo as a dark fantasy. There was nothing dark in it. I mean, sure, there was witches and a lot of people died, but there was nothing dark. Now, Legend of the Erased, it tackles a lot of psychological things and, like, it deals... Well, it doesn't deal with... I don't want to promote this as, oh, read my book and it'll fix your depression. No, if you read, if you read my book trying to fix your depression, guess what? You're not going to come out of this well. Uh... That being said, Legend of the Erased does tackle some really dark issues. Self-harm, suicide, uh, abuse, and things like that. I mean, I make it painfully clear in the beginning of my book. I mean, the first page is just like, hey, don't read this if you're disturbed. Or have suicidal thoughts, etc. And then in the first six pages... Things happen that really drive that point in. So, yeah, definitely not for the weak-minded. Uh, it still has a lot of fantasy aspects, except for instead of taking place in a world controlled by witches, it is a dream world, a legitimate dream world. Uh, well, Serene's dream world, to be more specific. There is a hero of dreams, which is pretty much Satoshi's remake. I mean, Satoshi is pretty much the same, except for his name is Abaddon now, which I feel fits him a lot better than just a generic Japanese name. Uh... So you got this dream hero, and a dream world, and a lot of weird shit happening. Uh, it's still got a lot of the fantasy aspects. Uh, there's a lot of mages in the world. And there's, you know, a lot of col colorful stuff. Except for everything has a point now. I don't just make him ridiculed for having black hair, just for the sh sake of it, but it actually has a point now. Serene so doesn't just get attacked in an alley for shits and giggles. It actually has a point now. Everything has a point in my story now, and that's one thing that I really... Like, I'm glad I decided to take it back and rewrite it. I am passionate about my story once again. Uh... And that's really important, because I had lost almost every ounce of passion for Legend of Harakyo. And after sac sacrificing so much to be able to write it, that was a problem. But the problem is fixed, and Legend of Harakyo will be definitely a thing. So yeah, this is me clarifying what Legend of the Erased is. What Legend of Hercule was, why I decided to change it, and all that good stuff. So yeah, Legend of the Erased is actually available for pre-order. If you see the artwork and what I said in this video about it, and it looks and sounds interesting to you, please message me about pre-orders. Uh, you can also send me a friend request on Facebook, uh, Coffee Hercule. You can also follow Legend of the Erased on Facebook. Uh, just look up Legend of the Erased and you should be able to find it. That's all I got for you today. Have a nice day.